I was telling you about my daughter being good. And I don't give her everything she's got going on, except for the boys. Holy shit. She's real pretty. It's another reason I don't think she's mine. <laughs> she looks 19 or 20. Got all these boys calling, coming by, texting and shit. I had one come over unannounced. All dressed up like Justin damn Timberlake. Think he's bringing sexy back to my fucking house. I showed his little ass who let the dogs out. <laughs> he won't be back. <laughs> and now, her first boyfriend when she was 15 came to my house. 15 year old boy in my house wearing eye makeup. Oh, yeah. yeah, that ain't what I said. <laughs> the kids call it guy liner. <laughs> I reckon I'm old fashioned because I call it queer as shit. <laughs> <laughs> But because she's a good girl, I didn't just put my foot down and say, he can't come back. I just kind of steer her in the right direction with a lot of smart-ass stuff because I'm good at that, you know. Like every day she'd get out of bed and I'd say, is Mr. Maybelline dragging his ass over here today? Every time the phone would ring, I'd say, Avon calling. And it worked. He's gone now. And uh, Then the next boyfriend, oh my goodness. Private school, straight A student. His daddy's the fire chief. Now I know you're thinking that's a keeper right there. As far as I'm concerned, none of them's good enough for my daughter. I hate the little motherfucker. <laughs> that's just how I am, you know. But we're going to meet him and his family at a school function. My daughter is a nervous damn wreck. All the way there in the car, daddy, don't embarrass me. Please don't embarrass. Oh my God, don't fart. 